Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. I have received more than one comment concerning rating horses by stable, and I wish I could recall specifically who suggested this video. It is getting harder for me to keep up with all the comments as the channel grows. However, know that I read your comments every day and I get my best ideas from you. Let's go look at some horses. Yeah. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> Note that in this review we are not counting Biscuit, or the pre-order Iron Grey Ardennes, or the Ultimate Edition Reverse Dapple Black Thoroughbred, really like that reverse question mark blaze, nor any of the wild or stolen horses Arthur encounters in his travels across the map. Here in the Valentine stable we have the Chocolate Roan Dutch Warmblood, the most expensive horse in Chapter 2. At level 4 he comes in at a very respectable 9 health and 10 stamina. I like a larger horse for Arthur and the Dutch Warmblood has the size and physique in an Arthur horse. However, everything's a trade-off and these bigger horses are slow to accelerate and the Dutch Warmbloods are not known for their speed. All that being said, that chocolate roan coat is certainly attractive, and she is absolutely one of the most unique horses you can buy. It's okay, girl. Personally, I tend to disregard stats and look for a good balance between hunting, bravery and gunfights, and speed for Arthur, in addition to a larger size. And for my money, the Dapple Dark Grey Hungarian Halfbred is the best horse in Valentine. At level 4, this one comes in at a decent 9 health and 8 stamina. As a war horse, she is most certainly the bravest horse in the stable. She is faster than the Chocolate Roan, pretty good at hunting, and she has the height and physique. Also, I really like that silver coat. You can't do much better for Arthur. Goodbye now, and bring that horse back anytime. It's all right, girl. The Palomino Dapple American Standard Bread is a racehorse with a disappointing 6 health and 6 stamina. He also has the height and physique I like for Arthur, and he is technically the fastest horse in the Valentine Stable. However, his bravery is nothing special, and he is not great at hunting. I don't like to criticize horses, they are all special, and the Palomino Dapple Coat is very attractive. He is certainly the prettiest horse in the stable, and will serve you well during missions and free roam, but honestly, you can do better. That's a good horse. Ah, sorry, boy. I like the Strawberry Stable because it's difficult to get to early in the game, and it's on the way to Lake Oangela, which is easily one of the most scenic locations in Red Dead Redemption 2. And in Chapter 3, the Brindle Thoroughbred unlocks, which is my personal favorite horse for Arthur. At level 4, they come in at a mediocre 6 and 6, but stats only tell half the story, friends. They have the size and physique I like for an Arthur horse in addition to speed and bravery, and I just love those brindle stripes. Thoroughbreds are great hunters, the best hunters in the game, and Arthur loves to hunt. What I mean by great hunters is that I have found that thoroughbreds seem to attract more three-star animals, from squirrels to cougars. They're just easier to find with a thoroughbred. The evidence on this claim is anecdotal. Your results may vary. All I know is if I am doing any serious hunting, if I am working on the satchels or the master hunter challenge, I'm going to want a thoroughbred. And the brindle is my favorite. I missed that bag. Real good one. You're okay, boy. You're okay, boy. The Seal Brown Dutch Warmblood also unlocks in Chapter 3 and at Level 4 comes in at a respectable 7 health and 8 stamina. Bravery is okay, hunting is okay. Not the fastest horse in the stable, but certainly one of the strongest. And that Seal Brown coat is a very pretty and very shiny shade of brown. Goodbye now, and bring that horse back anytime. 
good one, boy. As a warhorse, the Dark Bay Andalusian is certainly the bravest in the Strawberry Stable. He is a nice big horse, very strong, and at level 4 he will be at 8 health and 7 stamina. Poor acceleration, however, outstanding in a firefight and also available in Chapter 2. A fantastic horse for a more aggressive player or a bad honor playthrough. Also, that Dark Bay coat, almost a dark blood red, is very distinctive. Certainly the scariest horse in the Strawberry Stables. Take care of that nag. Come back and You're finish. okay, boy. There, boy. Over here at Scarlet Meadows, we unlock the Amber Champagne Missouri Foxtrotter in Chapter 4. Arguably the best horse in story mode, and certainly a fan favorite. You know how much I love Biscuit, and the Missouri Foxtrotters have a great balance between bravery, strength, and speed. In addition to the height and size I prefer for Arthur, and also a very elegant and streamlined physique. At level 4, the Amber Champagne Missouri Foxtrotter comes in at 8 health and 9 stamina, and that Amber Champagne coat is beautiful. If you like a lighter Palomino shade in a horse, this is one of the greatest. Certainly the prettiest horse at the Scarlet Meadows Stable, and a great incentive to get to Chapter 4. Bring that horse back if you need anything. It's all right. However, without question, the Bayron Ardennes is the bravest and strongest horse in the Scarlet Meadows stable, and certainly one of the bravest horses available in Chapter 2. I love the heavy physiques of an Ardennes, and as a warhorse, her strength and bravery is unparalleled. At level 4, this horse comes in at a very respectable 8 health and 7 stamina. Technically the weakest Ardennes available, but stats only tell half the story, and this horse is a tank. This horse is a Terminator. Her bravery and fortitude will serve you well. Just don't take her on a horse race. I'll miss that nag. Real good one. <laughs> You're all right, girl. Finally, we have the Sooty Buckskin Dutch Warmblood. Decent at hunting, okay at gunfights, great size and physique, and I really love this dapple dark brown coat. At level 4, you can expect 7 health and 8 stamina, a nice strong horse that works well as a daily driver in story mode, or exploring in free roam. Safe travel. Remember to rest that horse sometimes. You okay, boy? The Sandini Stable wins the award for the cleanest and most high-end stable in Red Dead Redemption 2. Just look at all that fresh paint and shiny brass in those pens. And the Chapter 4 Gold Turkoman is certainly one of the most impressive horses in the game. She has the size and physique I like in a horse for Arthur, and that coat shines in the sun. It's almost metallic. Very distinctive and unique. This was probably my first favorite horse, and at level 4 she comes in at 10 health and 8 stamina. The Turkoman is a race slash war hybrid, which means she has the speed and the bravery. However, I have found the Turkomans are more race than war. They tend to be skittish for me and have an annoying neck flop when they are tired or stressed. That golden coat shines in the sun though, and she is still one of my favorites. Horseback anytime. There, girl. It's okay, girl. The Black Arabian is the only elite horse available from any stable in story mode. Yes, you can find Arabians in the wild from Chapter 2 on, but you can purchase the black one in Chapter 4. A personal favorite of Arthur's, literally one of the fastest horses in the game, and that sleek, streamlined physique is elegant and refined. However, everything is a trade-off and these horses are tiny, temperamental, and not brave. Their first instinct is to run away, but boy can they run. Riding an Arabian is like riding the wind. Very thrilling, and at level 4 he will be at 9 health and 9 stamina. Take care of that man. Come back and save me. You 
okay, boy? The reverse Dapple Roam Nakoda is an interesting choice. They are on the smaller side, closer to a Mustang, which can of course be found in the wild. Excellent hunters, very brave and very speedy. Not Arabian speedy, of course, but he comes close and he's not afraid of gunfire. At level 4, this horse comes in at 6 and 6. You will need a constant supply of health items, but Nakotas are great little horses and he's worth it. Sorry, Come on, get clear! Shit! Calm down! Go piss! The Van Horn stable opens up after Chapter 6, and John is happy to show you all the horses available this far up north. Starting with the Rose Grey Andalusian, who at level 4 arrives at 10 health and 8 stamina. The strongest Andalusian, with a shiny, almost metallic silver coat. Very reminiscent of the Silver Turkoman. Goodbye now, and bring that horse back anytime. <laughs> Keep going, girl, you're okay. Then we have the Strawberry Roan Ardennes, the Ardennes with the best stats at level 4 with 10 health and 8 stamina, the bravest and biggest horse in the Van Horn stable, and just look at that pretty pink coat. You're good, girl. However, my favorite in this stable is the polka dot leopard Appaloosa, who always makes me smile. I like to think of this horse as Tilly's horse, because Arthur can pick one up in Chapter 4 when he and Miss Grimshaw rescue Miss Tilly. And in my mind, I like to think that Arthur gives this horse to Tilly after that mission to make her feel better. Excellent hunters, Appaloosas. Decently brave. Superior acceleration and speed. At level 4, the Leopard Appaloosa comes in at 8 health and 9 stamina. The coat seems a little undignified for Arthur, but it grows on you. Tilly would look great on this horse, and I like to think she calls her Sassafras. I missed that nag! Have a good one! Come on, girl. You're okay. Here's John at the Blackwater Stable where you can find the best horses post-game. I am certain Sandini is very jealous of the horses on offer here, starting with the Silver Dapple Missouri Foxtrotter, who at level 4 comes in at a surprising 8 health and 8 stamina. You would expect those stats to be better, but stats only tell half the story, friends, and this is a fine horse. The perfect balance of speed, bravery, and strength, with great height and a very elegant, muscular physique. And that silver dapple coat, the white highlights are almost Arabian white. They glow in the moonlight. We all know about Arthur's history with Biscuit on this channel, who is female. However, this is the only opportunity you will have to purchase a male silver dapple Missouri Foxtrotter. It is easy enough to manipulate the sexes of all stable horses by exiting the game and reloading or reloading a save. My all-time favorite horse for Arthur. Not surprisingly, my all-time favorite horse for John. I think John looks better on these smaller horses, and I like the Tiger Mustang for him. John hates when I talk about Arthur in one of his videos, but it can't be helped. My apologies, John. That's a good horse. Come on, girl. You're okay. <laughs> Next, we have the Dark Bay Turkoman, or as I like to call it, the Bronze Turkoman. At level 4, she comes in at a very respectable 10 health and 8 stamina. A nice combination of bravery, speed, and strength, but I do find the Turkomans to be high strung and closer to, say, an Arabian in Constitution than an Ardennes or an Andalusian. Lots of A horses in this game, never noticed. But I do like that muscular physique, and that Dark Bay coat has bronze highlights in the sun. Very attractive. You and that horse are always welcome. Well done. Moving on to the Rose Gray Bay Arabian, who at level 4 will be at 10 and 10. Literally a perfect horse and the best stats in the game. 
However, you know what I always say, stats only tell half the story. He's still undersized, his bravery is questionable, useless at hunting, embarrassing in a gunfight. Arabians are big, beautiful Freddy cats who can run like the wind, and they are happy to be known as the prettiest horses in the game, and that's about it. However, I should mention that they are extremely agile, much like the Mustang and the Nakoda, and they can stop and turn on a dime. All that being said, they are happiest using those skills to run away from danger. I do think John looks better on a smaller horse, and he looks great on this one. Take care of that nag. Come back and see me. Move it. Come on, fella. Or I move you You're okay. You know what? Forget it. Ain't you tough now, huh? The Tumbleweed Stable opens up post-game and has the widest selection of horses with five available. All of the other stables only have three on offer, but what's interesting is that means they have two open slots with the potential for 12 new horses in story mode. I do think that those online horses will trickle into story mode in future updates, my personal favorites being the Gypsy Cobb and the Criollos. At some point, we will see new horses. I have to be optimistic about such things, and you should as well. Welcome to you and your horse. Here is the Silver Turcoman, Hosea's Silver Dollar, the best horse in the Tumbleweed Stable with 10 health and 8 stamina at level 4, the same as the Dark Bay. Very clean lines on a Turcoman, however I don't love their temperament. They are more skittish than you would expect, and not as brave as you would think. Excellent size, strength, and speed, and you also get that sentimental association with Hosea. John misses Hosea, but not as much as he misses Arthur, but he doesn't like me to discuss it. Let's move on. Next we have the brown leopard Appaloosa with that very unique and iconic coat, very reminiscent of the American Southwest and the Old West. Really like that creamy white and the almost red roan brown. And at level 4 he comes in at a very respectable 8 health and 9 stamina. Decent hunters, excellent in a gunfight, great acceleration. He is a little on the small size and I do like these smaller horses for John. You're okay, girl. We also have the gray Overo American Paint, speaking of smaller horses, who comes in at 8 and 8 at level 4. A strong horse with decent acceleration, not the bravest horse in the stable, but respectable at hunting, and that charcoal gray coat is very unique, the only one in the game. Also, Javier had one. This is Boaz. Boaz is a biblical name, meaning swiftness or strength. Very appropriate for this horse. There, girl. Come on. The Silver Tail Buckskin American Standard Bread has the size and speed I like, but he is definitely not the bravest horse in this stable or the game. I do like that signature silver tail, and I have a soft spot in my heart for the buckskin and palomino coats. At level 4, this horse will be at 7 and 7, and an excellent daily driver if you are a fan of those light brown coats. Bring that horse back if you need anything. It's nothing, boy. Finally, we have the Flaxen Roan Tennessee Walker, a literal redhead. I am sentimental about the Tennessee Walkers in this game because of Arthur's Mahogany Bay in Chapter 1, Arthur's first horse. They are very good-natured with moderate speed, strength, and bravery. And at level 4, this one comes in at a very respectable 7 health and 8 stamina. However, you cannot discount this horse's attitude and disposition. He is very loyal and one of the sweetest horses in the game. And how can you say no to that pretty pink coat? Take care of that bag. Come back and see. You'll be okay, buddy. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. 
consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Yeah. Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> Lumbago, really?